Well, welcome back. I'd like to thank you all for answering the call to heroism. For standing united between the forces of evil and those we've chosen to protect. For joining our combined might as we enter phase two of our Back to Heroism initiative. Zounds. I do believe this is the largest assembly of heroes we've had since the spring. Of course, I'd like to welcome back Zoomer and Gil to full-time status. I know we'll all agree that their contributions were sorely missed. Now, as you're aware, certain changes will need to be implemented as we navigate this brave and uh, bold new world. So, you've all done a remarkable job of staying in your designated zones. But we must remain ever vigilant to maintain appropriate distance while heroing, even when our logos are not clearly visible on the floor. Wait a minute, is it three or six feet? Because when all this started, people were saying six feet, but then I heard it was three to six feet. But then what I actually heard was that it depends on if you're moving too. So if you're walking, it's like 13 feet, or if you're running at normal speed, it's like 15 feet. But if you're as fast as me, it's probably like 30 or 40 feet, or probably like Okay, faster than Zoomer, we get it. Oh, what about flying? I bet it's more for flying. Well. Nah, I haven't been given those numbers. Look, we all know the challenges this is going to present. With rescues, close combat, most forms of villain handling. But we do believe that it's possible. Now, this next part may be easier for some of you. Effective immediately, all team members must be masked. Immediately? So, we should already have masks on. Oh. Well... Gosh, I guess you're right. Uh, does everyone have their masks with them? Thought I saw some of you had them when you came in, so now's the time, I guess, to put those on. Nice try, super nerd. No way I'm wearing a mask. You're already wearing a mask. Yeah, I wear a mask on the top half to keep the criminals away. What difference does it make which half of your face is covered? Just cover your mouth. And hide this perfect jawline? Yeah, right. Mr. Nightwatch? Yeah, he comes to see me often. Really, quite often. So often, I got my secretary secretary. Moving to a gated community. He's putting my kids through Harvard. Just bought myself a second boat. Why do I need two boats? I don't. When I pay cash at the gas station, when the pump starts to slow down, I stop pumping. I don't have the time for that. Hey, where's your mask? Oh, sorry, I... What? Thought that just because you can't get sick, that you're gonna come in here and hack your star-spangled spittle all over the rest of us? No, no, uh, of course not, of course not. Apologies, my friends. It's most careless of me. I also thought maybe you wouldn't be able to hear me well. Guys, I, I think I forgot my mask. I, I didn't forget forget my mask. Okay, I know it is at home, but I figured if I got here and everybody's wearing their mask, I could just like run home super fast and go grab it and be back before anybody noticed. No, we noticed. Can you just please get it? He'll be right back. Yeah, I know I'm not like in the most tip toppest of perfect condition anymore, and I know I can no longer break the sound barrier when I run, but I mean, what'd you expect? I was home for months, I couldn't get out and train. Am I supposed to just run around my kitchen table over and over and over and over and over again? And I like ice cream. Ah, cleanliness. Next to godliness, as Ma would have said. Now it should go without saying at this point that you should all be washing your hands, whether or not your costume includes gloves. You should also be marking all crime-fighting tools with your personal emblem so as to avoid any mixing and matching of grappling hooks, boomerangs, and... Gil, did you bring your son to the meeting? Dad, can I have some tablet time? I'm so bored. I decided to keep Finn out of school right now. I'm just not comfortable sending him back yet. Plus, with him being an aqua sapien, he needs to be fully submerged multiple times a day. I just don't think they have the capacity for his needs right now. Plus, my father-in-law is staying with us. And honestly, I didn't mind being furloughed. I mean, I do all my work in the water anyway, so I don't know why they needed me back. Bringing your kids to work? 
Honestly, even the goddess doesn't bring her kids. Ah, uh, sexist. It's the hall of heroism, not the hall of feminism. You are so gross. Yes, I have kids. I have 30 of them. I also have a tribe of 10,000 warrior sisters that I command. I serve on the Council of Olympus. I forge armor from dragon scales. I run marathons. I hunt. And I regularly negotiate peace talks between demons and demigods. And she cooks. F you, Nightwatch. Do you cook? Yes, I cook. Now, as you're aware, several supply chains have been disrupted, leaving us without essential items such as gloves, computer equipment, basic costuming needs. Oh, come off it, super hair. We all know who's really behind this, and they want nothing more than to disrupt your precious supply chains. I have facts. Facts from the internet. Facts that prove this whole thing is a conspiracy, and it's no accident. It's a pan-dimensional pathogen created in a secret biotech lab orbiting the Earth. It was released intentionally by sissy pants cowards like Gil, so they could keep sitting by the pool. Wait a minute, Nightwatch. Slow down. I'm having a hard time following. Are you saying that this space virus was started on purpose by one of us? Parts of this sound made up. All of it is made up. And please, can you stop calling it a space virus? Can you hear how offensive that is? Hashtag whoa there, the goddess. We can't just discount this crazy idea outright. I mean, wouldn't that be irresponsible of us? I've done the research. See how many printouts I have. First of all, that's not research. And second of all, whatever idiot blogger wrote that probably thinks that dinosaurs helped build the pyramids. Prove him wrong. It's really an earth virus. It's not easy. We have a lot of big personalities here. A lot of strong voices. A lot of uh, good ideas. Mostly good ideas. Also some very bad ideas. Well, that's us. It's time to heed the call of heroism. Oh, God bless America. Now hit the sirens. Now hit the sirens. Growing up, I was confused. Left the cars up over my head. Confused, I tap my fingers and then wind up dead. My mom and dad, they wouldn't listen. When I realize I'm a hero when I'm on a mission. Now living that life, I'm considered a myth. Rock a body sober after drinking.